Here we are. We are live right now on Facebook Connect and something special. You're going to be able to see this video in your back office. Very, very special updates coming with you. Very, very live, very quickly, and we're excited to share some of these things with you. Now, towards the end of the segment, you're going to hear a lot of these updates. In the beginning, since it's a live broadcast, we want to make sure that everybody gets comfortable, starts clicking in on the video and joining us. So as you join, make sure, like always, you state where you are. Um, let everybody know you're here. Uh, let us know what country or city you're tuning in from. Uh, we want to like make it a little more interactive, and that's what you guys like. That's what I like. You know, we're here to be interactive. It's Ryan Evans. I'm here live from the uh, corporate headquarters here in Los Angeles. Uh, we're coming at you strong with Facebook Live at 5. That's right, it's 5 o'clock Pacific Time uh, here in California, and we are excited to bring you yet another live broadcast. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now, and we've got a lot of things to cover, so as you're tuning in, give us some likes, give us some hearts, because good feedback and interaction is what it's all about. Uh, so again, the Facebook Live at 5 is about corporate news, and, sat, and, and, and updates, we like to call it Savvy News. Uh, so corporate news and updates, and again, we appreciate all of our affiliates, we appreciate all of our members. Uh, thank you for helping us make Savvy on uh, what it is today. So part of Savvy News is your Operations Director, Ryan Evans, kind of making sure things get operated on and operating. Uh, that's what the operations here at Savvy on is for. So that's me, I'm here to bring you some Savvy News. Who's ready? Come on, give us some hearts. Give us some likes if you're ready for some savvy news. So first part of the news, as EJ Dallas, our president from Salt Lake City when we went live there, uh, suggested, and it makes sense, uh, Savvy Lux Week continues. So we are going to give you part two, week two of Savvy Lux Week. And that's what we're doing right now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and give you some updates. And, uh, I'm going to get him on camera. My Kim does not like to be on camera. You're going to wait. We're going to get him in. I'm going to, in fact, we might actually just like take the camera sometime and call him around. He's kind of like a tease. He is a tease. He'll come up to the door and he'll want to say hi. And then he's like, nah, I'm too cool for Facebook Live. <laughs> it's good. We love all of our corporate members here at uh, Savion. So let's give you some updates. First update is, wow, company growth is going insane, guys. You can see these numbers behind me. 962,633 active paying members. Now that's 260,000 people making a daily residual income, a daily income uh, from Savion. So that's very, very good. Uh, these are very impressive numbers. I've gotten several calls from people in other companies that are now looking at this group, now looking at this company saying, wait a second, we have seen Savion back when I had 10,000 members now you guys are approaching the million member mark. Um, what's up with this company? You're making headlines, you're on the news now, you're over there and uh, you know all, all, these, all these things are going on, we're breaking records, guys. If you don't know what you have with Savion, you're soon gonna find out. So, these are some staggering numbers, which means with this type of growth, we're gonna be hitting a million members this week. As a matter of fact, we're, pro we're pro uh, forecasted to have these numbers um, by a million members, I'm gonna say by win on Wednesday. I think we'll all win on Wednesday once we hit a million members. Uh, so that's gonna be great. So our growth is staggering, it's absolutely incredible. We're excited about having you all here with us. And we are uh, gonna give you an update about the savvy news of scheduled maintenance, okay? Every Sunday we have a scheduled maintenance plan that happens and uh, we, we're down for about two hours every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. And what I wanted to kind of let you know is while we have this, commission payouts may be delayed on Sunday only. Uh, some people had um, emailed support, called, or maybe even uh, messaged direct to other people uh, in the corporate office. And what we found is that it's delayed due to the fact that we're down for two hours. So if your commissions were not run on time, that's the reason. But you did get paid for Sunday. So it's just something to keep in mind. We will be down two hours every week, and that's gonna be Sunday at two o'clock, so please keep that in mind. That is our scheduled maintenance that we have, okay? Moving right along, congratulations to Tracy Hurley. She's the winner of our Facebook Friday Spring Break Challenge. That's right, 
She gets to receive a free GSP pass for her entry. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody who participated for our challenge. This is our challenge number four for our month-long Savion Madness contest. And Brad Dalius does a great job, our media director, along with Mike Kim putting these uh, packages together on Friday. Uh, this is something that we're excited about, having these promotions and these bonuses. It just it helps, it enhances it. Plus, we're social people, right? We love to promote, we love to talk, we love to take pictures. All right, this is not a selfie stick. But you like to take pictures of yourself, and, and what we want to do is make sure that people have fun with Savion. And like I always say, you know, we've got a lot of savvy shoppers out there, and we want others to get their savvy on. The best way to do that is to start having contests like this. And uh, so again, Tracy, congratulations to you. Um, so yeah, it's good to be a winner. Closing out this Friday, the 31st, is our top 500 Savion uh, members. Now you may you may switch. <laughs> You may switch, uh, I mean, you may uh, apply for this. I think we're over 500 now. But um, you can go to Savvy500.com, and what this does is helps out with our retention management. You're going to be getting an email from our retention management team. What this does is it, 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 it keeps the, I'm sorry, reputation management. It keeps the online positive comments coming in, whether it be through uh, um, reviews for the Better Business Bureau, BBB.org, whether it be uh, reviews for Google, whether it be Facebook reviews. If you've had a good human experience, share that with us. And so you can do that by being a part of our group, uh, Savvy500.com. Just fill out your information there and get to be a part of our group. So it looks like we have a few people on, on here now. So we've got several people on uh on the live, so now we get to go into some great updates because this is where it starts getting good. We got, we got uh, the, the fluff out of the way, we'll call it. Uh, so now we got a lot of people on, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and give you some good updates. So the back office is getting enhanced. And I don't know if you've been able to log in in the last two to three hours, but you'll see something that looks like this as soon as you log in. This is um, our promotion showing you that Savvy Lux Week is continuing. Uh, we're going to be doing also the, the new rollout, card printing, and shipping all this uh, week. Also, virtual card signups are going to be done this week. This is week of Savvy Lux, so we're excited about that. Now, if you notice back here in the back office, when you first sign up, this is what you're greeted with. But if you look at the top or the bottom, you'll see a one, two, a three, and it may continue um, with different slides okay, or different pages of updates. If you click on the second page update, you'll see our news and broadcast uh, banner and flyer, okay? And it's going to be live coming at you like this is right here. Also, if you click the third page, you can even watch video recaps. This is where, right now, it has the highlight of our Macau event, so check that out. This is going to be a great tool for you to stay plugged in. Um, a lot of people can't get, you know, we have almost a million members. And we don't have a million members in our Facebook Connect group. So there's a lot of people out there that are savvy on members that aren't getting this interaction like you guys are. So number one, consider yourself privileged. Number two, we come up with a challenge to figure out how we can make it available for every member a part of Savvy. Well, we know one thing, they may not get the email because you know everybody might you know enter their email address wrong or might uh, have a punctuation or spelling error we can guarantee they're going to log into their back office if they want to take advantage of their membership. So if they're doing that, they might as well stay updated as well. We're going to have our um, newsletter recaps and our highlights from this. Instead of sending out 500, 600,000 emails, what we're going to do is just make sure that it's all back in the back office. And we have a Mandarin translator in-house now. We also have a Korean translator in-house. As well as, well, I'm speaking English. I'm translating everything I'm saying right now is being translated to you in English. Huh? That's, that's funny, right? I'm just a crazy person. I love having fun. You gotta have fun with me. This is this is savvy news time. Unlike any other news broadcast you've ever seen, and it's okay. All right. So moving right along, you guys will understand that this whole recap, bullet points. If you don't like this crazy dynamic stuff, you get to read a piece of paper um, in your language as well as uh, Jericho's putting that whole communication thing together. So it's gonna be in the back office. All you gotta do it is click on the link and it'll bring you to a PDF of a recap of every single Facebook Live at five. Good job Jericho and the communications team for putting that together. 
Today, I'm dubbing Motivation Monday, and I like to have these because, you know what? It's good to have people, you know, on fire and excited, but sometimes, you know, life gets you down. You talk to the wrong person who has a negative outlook on life, and you talk to people out there that are just not getting it. They don't see the opportunity, or uh, they're, they're trying to prove you wrong is what they're trying to do. You may go to several friends and family members, and they're going to prove you wrong. They're going to be like, yeah, let me know how that little business adventure of yours works out. I've been there, I've done it, I have family too, uh, you know, and not all of them are in Savion, and you know, some of them have just uh, left completely, you know, I totally understand what you're going through. But the bottom line comes to this quote, if you believe it will work out, you'll see opportunity for yourself. If you believe it won't, you're going to look for every obstacle, you're going to see everything as obstacles. So one person told me, they said, you know, if you believe you can or you believe you can't, both are correct. So just go with that assumption that, look, I love, I love this. I see opportunity for myself with Savion. I believe that this is going to be something that I can now um, make life a lot easier for my family. And I can do things uh, with, my, with my friends and my family and live a better life. If you see opportunity for yourself, great. Welcome aboard. And you know what? Nothing is quick. Nothing is easy. In life, you're going to have to, like, toughen up. <laughs> you're going to have to. That's exactly what people need to do. Like, if you go to a regular nine to five job, what do you do? You're expected to work, right? If you're expected to work, you work maybe 10, 15, uh, maybe even $20 an hour, depending on where you're from. And they make sure that you do this, 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 and they critique you the whole time. And if not, your job is insecure, they'll just can you, okay? The difference is you're in business for yourself here. Now, granted, we're doing everything at corporate we can to make this a better opportunity for everybody, and I think you've seen a lot of enhancements over the last six to eight months. All I want to let you know is that if you are in this business at the very beginning, understand that this is going to take all of us pulling together, and it's going to take people that see opportunity for yourself in this company, you know, really buckling down deep. I always use this analogy of a construction site. Look, we're under construction right now. Even though our numbers are going through the roof, we're doing great things, you know, we still got our overalls on, we're still got our hard hats on, this isn't time to party yet. What we're doing is we're building a foundation. And if you all are out there and you're in your dress shoes and wanting to come to a nicely oiled party with, with champagne, high end everything, well, we're not there yet. We gotta build the walls. We gotta get the pavement done. We gotta make sure all this, and if we're asking you if you want to be a part of that building process with us, then you can enjoy the party later, then come on and join the party with us several months from now, and uh, that's where we're taking this thing. So, a lot of you have ranked up in the last six, eight months, so congratulations. Some of you are brand new here, and maybe just became a founder or a VIP. There's a big congratulations for you on that because that is a milestone. So, glad you're a part of us, and let's continue to uh, go through some more updates. So in the back office, under your cash back tab, now you see what we were talking about last week. It might have been a little confusing because it showed the available balance. So now, you won't see that. There's no more balance, there's none of that right now. At the very, very bottom of your cash back, you'll see the balance, and if it doesn't match that balance, then you don't have that much cash back to take care of. So it's easier. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, then uh, that's a good thing. <laughs> but if you do, you, were, you had a little bit of confusion last week because there were two different balances and one was showing your available cash back balance and the other one was showing all of the balances. Now this addresses the fact that all of those receipts expire after now 70 days, okay? So if you submit a receipt, that has a shelf life of 70 days from the time you enter that receipt. So make sure that you put that receipt or do a redemption in within 30 days, 60 days for sure. Uh, so you can take advantage of that receipt. Since I said Map Week was this week, we were going to have several things due today, including the official map manual. But since we've had all hands on deck, we want to make sure that everybody knows tentatively Map Week will be next week. Now, um, we might have to push that off one more week because Savvy Lux is such a high priority for everybody in the field right now. We want that working smoothly, okay? We've heard enough feedback to know that it is about 88 to 90% of the Savvy Lux is the most priority. The rest of that priority, well now that's credit card signups. I'll give you an update about that in a little bit. 
Um, the map portal, we got 10 to 20% of the people are saying that that is top priority. So we're here for the majority in Savvy Lux week. So all hands on deck is on Savvy Lux. The map manual is still coming, but we need to have uh, the map in the app so that way we could sh release a full manual for that. Does that make sense? We want our merchants to see value. We want our savvy shoppers to see value as well. We want that app to show each map merchants with a GPS pin on there. And that's what we're doing. So there's my red X. The map manual is not out today. There you go, and that's the reason. Savvy Lux Week does continue for this week. So is everybody excited? We've got some updates regarding Savvy Lux. So this week, we've already been seeing a lot of uh, five stars and, and up really um, applying for that card no matter where you are in the world. If you're a five star and up, you're able to apply for the Savvy Lux. Uh, so we're having this rollout coming out this week and by the end of the week, it was gonna be Wednesday, tentatively, but since we had some bugs we had to work out, there were some five stars that uh, said, you must have $25 in your e-wallet and uh, in order to do this. Well, that's a bug because some of these people had way more than that in their e-wallet. So we had to fix that bug. So the one star to four star will be rolled out by this next Friday. So this coming Friday. So Friday the 31st of March, one star to four star will be able to apply for the Savvy Lux card. And again, we're following these rollouts just because we want things going smoother, okay? Um, it's easier to fix things with a smaller number of people than it is a massive scale of people, okay? We wanna we'll kinda eliminate the, um, the support if we can. Um, at least to mitigate that. Card printing and shipping is this Thursday. Please pay attention. If you're commenting or if you're distracted, maybe you're on your phone, this is what you need to pay attention right now. If you want your card shipped this week, we're doing printing on Thursday and shipping on Friday. So make sure that uh, that's exactly what the uh, distribution center told us from our provider. This Thursday, those applications have to be in five stars and up. So get your application in. They are printing your card this Thursday and Friday. They're hitting the mailbox and going out. So it's about five business days. So you'll get it within one week. So it's exciting, right? That is great. So in that lesson, by the time you get the card, our next rollout has the ability to push funds to your bank account. So that's the next phase as well. Octopus 20% cash back is live. We've seen a lot of videos on WeChat. We've seen a lot of video, which is the Chinese um, uh, social media, so to speak. Uh, so the Octopus 20% cash back, people are loving it. Hong Kong is on fire right now. So kudos to everybody out there in Hong Kong for taking advantage of this. This is a big thing. Now again, if you're not in Hong Kong, this update does not even apply to you. But if you are, you're enjoying this right now because it's just like you know your biggest payment system just got 20% cash back. So turn in those receipts, Octopus users. And uh, there you go. Savvy Lux update. We're moving right along. I think we're moving too quick, actually. I'm gonna slow things down. Taiwan, Malaysia, Japan, South Korea, China. I got Malaysia in there again because I'm an overachiever like that. Canada and Hong Kong, phone verification, phone verification is now live uh, to apply for the Savvy Lux card, okay? Which means, that while you're applying, if it's five star and above, again, you put your cell phone number in there and it will send you a text message to verify that you own that number and you will get the uh, Savvy Lux card application pushed through. Now again, let's go back to the Savvy Lux card application. There's two things I want to address here. The first thing is the passport. Again, passports make this so much easier. When we sat <laughs> for four hours in the meeting in Salt Lake City, meeting with our provider, um, and again, you're going to hear me say the provider a lot. I'm not going to say their name. I'm not going to mention the corporate, the president. That's why we didn't do an interview with the president on uh, Friday, because they're the white label. Okay, we don't want to um, we don't want to hammer them as far as support goes. This is a savvy Lux product. Okay, and we want to take ownership of that. Uh, we got a good relationship with that provider, and we don't want them being a promoter. We're the promoter, so I got to get that clear for everybody. But when we were in that meeting for four hours. Uh, we understood some of the uh, you know enhancements and things that they got coming out with this thing. Uh, one thing is the passport. You know, if you have a passport, it makes the expedited time so much easier and quicker because the passport is it's an international database pretty much. It checks against uh, fraud. 
Now, if you have a government-issued ID, like, for example, in my pocket, I have a driver's license because uh, I'm here in the United States. So if you have a driver's license or government-issued ID, that, to my knowledge, is still accepted. They told me that it will still be accepted. However, it may delay your application uh, by two to three business days while they get it approved. Uh, some government IDs and um, driver's license may not be approved because we can't read the characters on it um, and it's not scannable, okay? Uh, so for most English-speaking people, then yes, we can for sure. But uh, again, that's, that will delay the prospect. So anyway, passport. The next thing I want to bring up real quick, and I don't have a slide for this, but uh, in, in different areas of the world, some people don't have a utility bill in their name. It's in the head of household's name. So I got approval uh, just yesterday, actually, on Sunday when we were trying to uh, get this done. Because yesterday was Sunday uh, for us, but it was Monday for China. And so they were asking me, you know, what do you do? And, and the, the official answer is use that ID, that, that, uh, that government, no, I'm sorry, the, um, the uh, head of household proof of income. Uh, proof of residence. Okay, so head of household proof of residence, like a utility bill. That is what you need to use. Um, it will be fine, even if it's not the same last name. You still need to provide that. Okay, because that's your address. That's where you live. That will still be accepted. So don't worry if your name is not on your utility bill. Use that head of household and where you reside. Uh, use that utility bill, and that will be approved. Okay, so that that answers that question. I wish I had a slide, but it just popped up to me and, and just now. Okay. Again, according to this, one to four star founders will be able to apply for Savvy Lux by the end of the week on Friday. Um, so here you go, and this one is outdated, okay? Here's the virtual card update. Um, last week we were finalizing the approval for separation of the card. Now we have approval. Oops, that's too many. Now we have approval. So they officially separated them. I gave that update on, on Friday, but what I'm gonna show you is um, by this Friday, we're going to have members uh, tiered in different, like if you've been a member nine months and older with Savion, nine months and, and, and before, you will be able to get a virtual card by this Friday, okay? Isn't that exciting? So the virtual card, let me just tell you a little bit about it. It comes with the concierge service. It also um, has the uh, ability to push funds to your bank account. So everybody, once the virtual card, if you're a cashback member, if you are a um, commissionable uh, affiliate, then you're gonna want the Savvy Lux physical card. So there's your update on that. Um, the next following week, because we can't do a million members of the virtual card right now. We have to do it in phases. So the next week, discerning on how that goes, um, we're gonna do it a next quarter of month. Uh, for the for the members, so we're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it till we're gonna be live, okay? So we're gonna be able to apply all members and all affiliates to this. So it's a it's a rollout process. This is what we're working out. The big news: everybody wants to hear about the ninety nine dollar sign up, okay? Ninety nine GSP or map. Now this is gonna spread like wildfire because this is the first time anybody's hearing of this. Um, we delayed it um, last week because of all hands on deck went to Savvy Lux. Now we told you it was gonna be customer only. They must uncheck affiliate. We also told you that it was gonna be a one week only. So now we're changing that up. Starting this Saturday, April 1st, through April 10th, so you got a 10 day window. All signups, okay, here you go. All signups will be able to, whether it's a GSP new signup or a MAP signup, will be $99. Yes, affiliates included. So affiliates and customers, $99 new sign up, that's insane. That's exciting, right? So just so you know, we're moving full forward. You'll be able to get this $99 pass out of your e-wallet, or you'll be able to buy direct from corporate. Um, we're still, and I need to give you guys this credit card update. Um, we're still doing the, um, we ran into some challenges with our credit card signups still. So they told me by next Wednesday is when they're uh, trying to make that go live. And just by my past experience with them, I said, let's make it go live no later than April 10th or May April 11th, just so we have enough testing cushion. Last thing we wanna do is hammer this server again 
And you know, look, when you get a million transactions of 125 in a week, that starts flagging things, <laughs> okay? People wanna know, well, how in the world is this company having this much success? So we have to roll this out very, very uh, strategically, just so you know, being transparent with you. Um, again, this isn't our merchant, this is our, a person that, uh, that is uh, partnering with us. So we're getting them integrated and it's gonna be good. We just wanna make sure it goes out great. So no later than April 11th, that's a fact, we will have our credit card signups You'll be able to sign up through Savion with a credit card, okay? Once again. <laughs> All right, so everything is Savvy Lux, and I did pretty good. We've we got a five minute window left, is that right? All right, so this is my last slide to let you know that Savvy Lux continues. Is there any pressing questions for five minutes? Did I do that good of a job, seriously? No way, okay, are people positive? So what I did with that motivational minute, um, I posted that on Facebook on the Connect Group. I've seen so many positive comments on that, guys. I appreciate that myself because, look, I'm human just like you are. Everybody at the corporate office is human. We're not like these crazy robot Android people. We have feelings too, and we like to know that you all are positive about our company. That makes us get up in the morning. It makes us work extra hard um, because when you get a lot of negativity always and, and, and things like that, it, it just wears on somebody. So having a lot of positivity, I love it. And you guys have been positive all across the board. That's what I love. So thank you so much for all of your positive comments and feedback. Could you clarify um, manual renewals in addition to signups with credit cards? Yes, manual renewals. Like if somebody goes inactive and they manually renew, they put in the credit card themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all coming April 11th at the latest. They'll be able to update their credit card. Um, they'll be able to manually renew themselves by putting in their credit card information. It will charge their credit card. But to protect against chargebacks, which is our number one thing, that's the reason why we had to pull the plug on credit card signups, is because chargebacks, um, if there's no customer KYC, know your customer type thing, if, if it's no like real person, okay, then people could do fraud on, on a card. Um, and then we get charged back, okay? Which we're not charging back, whenever we get hit with that chargeback, we're not stopping all your daily commissions. Okay, you know, we still continue to pay, but we gotta protect the company, does that make sense? So we want to manually enter your credit card whenever there's a validation check. And that validation check is gonna be sending you a text message, no matter where you are in the world, um, no matter what country you are, and that will validate and it will say, did you approve this purchase of 125? And you will text back, yes. Uh, so for people without a cell phone, um, it's gonna hurt real bad because we have a mobile app, we're an internet-based company, and we do text messages. So this, you need to make sure to have a cell phone if you're running this business for us. So, so definitely, um, that's coming April 11th. You'll be able to manually update your credit card or you'll be able to do a new sign-up. So both renew and, um, and new sign-ups. Is that all the questions? Oh my goodness, we're even early. We started early and we're ending early? Oh wow, so thank you so much for tuning in everybody. We love question and answer. Um, I just kind of threw it out there. Usually it's on win on Wednesdays. Um, a million members by Wednesday. Mark my words, it's coming. The growth is not stopping with Savion. Who's fired up? Who's excited? Look, you're in the very, very beginning and like I always say, you all have put your surfboard in right before the wave and you get to ride the wave the rest of the way. I'm Ryan Evans, the Operations Director here at Saginaw International. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you later. See you on Wednesday.